Hello, I'm Loli Uribe Chivarria, and I would like to present our study titled Evidence of Eosinophils, Etosis, and COPD. Does this represent the trigger that switch on the disease? Although the current chronic obstructive pulmonary disease COPD epidemic is in part due to smoking, an important pathophysiological aspect is that not all smokers develop COPD with a cellular and molecular basis to predict which smoker will develop the disease being completely unknown. Furthermore, the reason for the lack of achieving an attenuation of inflammatory sign even year after having discontinued smoking is still far from being clarified, thereby representing a real challenge for research related to this field. Neutrophils are considered to be the principal cell responsible for gestating COPD, with severe reports having pointing out that excessive proteolytic activity of neutrophil elastasa contribute to tissue damage observed in their world of COPD. However, neither neutrophil nor their secretion appear to be a major trigger of other clinical or pathophysiological abnormality in COPD. Furthermore, a high prevalence of eosinophils in blood and sputum of patients with COPD has been observed, but no clinical relevance has been shown up to now. Recently, an alternative mechanism of this was described for neutrophils in which the cell relies its DNA forming neutrophil extracellular trams nets. This original cell death process referred to as netosis is distinct from apoptosis and necrosis and they need to be removed quickly to prevent further tissue damage or autoimmune phenomena. Neutrophil deaths by netosis has recently been demonstrated in COPD. However, there is limited knowledge about this cell death type for eosinophils, etosis, and its role is the pathogenesis of COPD. Therefore, the aim of this study was to evaluate etosis in stable COPD. For this purpose, we obtain induced sputum for healthy smokers and COPD patients according to gold clinical classification in low exacerbation rate, LER, COPD, A, B, or high exacerbation rate, HER, COPD, C, and D. Samples were examined using electron microscopy and immunofluorescence. As can be seen, in Table 1, we analyzed a total of 18 night patients. We found a significant difference in group age, with the severe hair group being the oldest compared to the remaining groups. Also, the percentage of macrophage was lower in COPDD than the other group. When we analyzed in Figure 1, the relationship between cellular phenotype and COPD clinical classification, group A was the only one that did not include patient with an eosinophilic phenotype. Surprisingly, health smoker group include similar proportion of patient with pausigranulocytic and eosinophilic pattern. On the other hand, in the COPD B group, all patients exhibit elevated percentage of eosinophilic and mixed pattern. The HER group also showed eosinophilic patient, but in contrast with LER group B, the neutrophilic phenotype was strong. We next evaluate ultrastructure of inflammatory cells in the induced sputum. We show that neutrophils and eosinophils from health smoker mostly reveal a normal morphology. In COPD A, most neutrophils exhibit nuclear characteristic compatible with apoptosis and not evidence of netosis was found. 
an interesting observation in the large COPD B group, which exhibit the eosinophilic phenotype, was that all eosinophils exhibit a dosis characteristic. Meanwhile, in COPD B, some neutrophils exhibit the typical morphology of netosis. However, extracellular transforming classical nets were rarely seen in this group. In figure 3, we show clear difference between her and her patient regarding the presence of abundant cellular debris in induced sputum. In the COPD C group, that include patients with an eosinophilic inflammatory pattern, we observed numerous eosinophils with sign of etosis. This, this neutrophil in this patient frequently seem to be prenatotic and could often be seen incorporating cell chromatin and membrane by phagocytosis. In COPD D patient with a neutrophilic inflammatory pattern, normal neutrophilic frequently appear associated with net-like structure. By DAPI staining on semi-thin section of induced sputum, well, we confirm that neither health smoker nor COPD A patient exhibit extracellular DNA. This also allows us to identify the LER and HER group based on the different quality quantity pattern on the extracellular nuclear materials. Quantification of the DAPI signal reveal a significant increase in COPD C and D patients. Etosis occurrence was confirmed but immunofluorescence with typical image of a extruded DNA associated in part with the major basic protein. The typical morphology of netosis could also be detected in the e induced sputum of CUPDB, clearly recognized by the presence of neutrophils elastasa colocalized with DNA CUPDT patient with a neutrophilic inflammatory pattern frequently appear associated with net-like structure. Finally, we quantify the proportion of etosis and netosis at ultrastructural level. The analyze confirmed that etosis is predominant in COPD B and C where netosis is particularly abundant in COPD D. In summary, this is the first study that demonstrates etosis at different stages of stable COPD. The results suggest a role for eosinophils in COPD pathophysiology, especially at the beginning and during the persistence of the disease, regardless of whether the patient quit smoking, with etosis debris probably stimulated neutrophil chemotaxis and triggering in uncontrolled netosis. The main target of this finding should be young smoker with a predisposition to develop COPD, with novel therapeutic techniques still being needed to treat the advanced disease. Thank you for listening.